everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my current favourites. And by the way, if I do look the same, it's because I'm filming two videos today. So that's why I look exactly the same. And if you're wondering how I got this makeup look, there will be a makeup tutorial already up. Make sure to check out my previous video if you guys want to see that tutorial. And yeah, we'll just jump straight into this video. So I'm just going to start off with non-makeup products. And the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this... Uh, uh, can't speak organic extra virgin coconut oil and I got this off Amazon and I've been actually using it for like any dry areas that I have I actually use it in my cooking stuff sometimes I actually really like it to melt my foundation or like my makeup so it just takes takes off my makeup really easy and it really hydrates my skin at the same time and not to mention that it actually smells like coconut I really want to eat it. I've tried eating it. It doesn't taste that good. Like, ugh, it was nasty. But yeah, I just, I just really like it, and I've been using quite a lot of it. So yeah, this is um, something that I've been loving at the moment. Next thing is a, a dry shampoo. So I am so picky with dry shampoos. Um, every time I used one, it was either too like white or powdery, or it would be way too strong, like as in the scent, and it would make me feel sick. So this one, my friend Zahara kind of like told me that it was really good so I went and picked it up straight away. This is the super drug brand. It's called the Killer Volume Volumizing Dry Shampoo. It says it freshens hair easily between washes. This smells really good and it actually really does the job and the thing that I actually really love about it is that it gives me volume. My hair is so straight that it just falls flat and it's so hard for me to get volume even when I like blow dry it and I try to make sure that this part of my head, hair has like a lot of volume, it still manages to fall straight flat. So um, I washed my hair and I, when I got this, I just put it straight onto like my clean hair and it was so nice because it actually kept my, it, gave, it gives a bit of a grip, like you can feel it. I mean, it's not that great of a feeling, but it, I don't really mind. It gives like, it gives your hair like, a rough feel to the roots and that gives like volume so it just stays like that another reason why i really love it is because when my hair is down my i hate it when my hair gets like falls in front of my face but with this it kind of stays where it is so i actually really really love this and definitely recommend it and then the next thing is a body cream this is the champagnes i don't know how to say this brand but it's the citrus blush and livening body lotion and this really smells like sweet lemons and oranges. I don't know why I love this smell so much, but I believe this is eight pounds. I think it's a bit on the pricier side for like body cream. I normally spend like what, five pounds maximum, but this is so worth the money. It really hydrates and it doesn't feel like sticky or greasy and it does the job. Oh yeah, it does have scents of lemon and orange in it and cardamom. I think that's why I love it because it's got the cardamom in it. I'm so obsessed with chai latte. If I have to include a favourite, like chai latte is my favourite drink ever. I've been having it nearly every day. And that has cardamom in it, I believe, and I think that's why I really love it. I love cardamom, um, but I would never eat it like on its own. It's so nasty. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this um, body lotion. It's so easy to use and like rub and it just really smells nice and moisturises my skin. The next thing that I've been using a lot lately are these Face Soft Cosmetic Sponge Wedges. I love to use this to like set my under eye. I love to bake with it and like bake under here as well. Um, and this is like one pound something at Boots and I love to get these just to bake with it and I've been using it a lot. Talking about baking, another product that I've been loving since I got it and I know I recently got it but it's the Kat Von D loose setting powder and I love to bake with this. I haven't used it today but Bendai Banana Powder and this one are my two favourites. Um, this is such a nice powder and it just works really well and I love it because it can go on anyone and it doesn't look ashy on my skin tone and it really sets your concealer in place and I just really love it and it's so worth the money. It's only £20 for a big tub like this. It's so worth it. So definitely recommend this. I don't know if I've mentioned this product before in a favourites video but I'm going to mention it now because I love it so so much and it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I use this in a lot of my tutorials as a bronzer and it's just so so nice on the skin especially if you like more of a dewy um, look. It just really makes your cheeks look really really soft and glowy and 
it's just so nice on the skin i might get dark deepest which is a tad bit darker i'm not too sure yet but i've been really happy with this one i've been using a lot of it and it's just so worth the money and i really really love it so yeah the next makeup item that i've been loving is the nyx hd concealer i'm in the shade tan i wish I wish it was like a, sh a tad bit lighter, but um, I'm, I think I'll probably definitely get the lighter one and mix the two, but it's just such a nice concealer. I like to use it around my mouth area just to give me a, a bit of extra coverage around my pigmentation area and under my eyes. It's just so, so nice and the coverage is amazing. Like for the price of this, I'm super shocked and now I understand why everyone has been raving about it because it's just so good. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got this and I love it. I swear I right? like I can't stop using it. So definitely will be getting the lighter shade in this and probably mixing them too. The next product is a lip product that I've been wearing quite a lot lately since I got it. Again, it's something that I got recently, but I just love it so much and it's the uh, Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in Shroom. It's what I'm wearing today. I've got a Max Spice lip liner around it, but this basically covered it, but it's what I got on today and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a nudey colour for my skin tone, so I absolutely, oh, I can't stop talking about it. I just love it so much. I love the formula, it feels really comfortable on my lips and it stays on pretty well so I definitely, definitely love this. The next product is a brow product and I have been loving the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I'm in the shade medium to dark and it's, like it's, I'm so surprised that a drugstore brow gel works as well because I used to use the Rimmel brow gel and oh my god that's just literally putting like water gel on my eyebrows, it does literally nothing. Um, but since I got this you can actually feel it, um, keep the brow hairs in place, it, you can feel the gel actually working, I don't know how to explain it. The tint is perfect, it gives a bit more colour especially like around these areas and I love to like define the individual hairs in the inner bit and it's got such a nice brush as well on it it's not too big and it works so well like my brows stay in place like all day with this product so i love it so much so another thing that i really want to mention is anastasia beverly hills eyeshadows now the only anastasia palette i have is the um shadow couture which was limited edition but i use this so much it's like one of my well-loved eyeshadow palettes and the reason why I use it so much is that I use so many eyeshadows and they work, like I've got a ton of great ones but when I use Anastasia eyeshadows like with one swipe on my eye it works so amazing, they're so easy to blend, they're so pigmented, they're so creamy and it's what I've got on my eyes like if I have an event or something special to go to this will be the palette I will grab because it's just so amazing but they do have all these colours individually so um I just definitely recommend it. I think they're even better than MAC eyeshadows. I don't know why people rate MAC, MAC eyeshadows so much. I don't even like them that much, to be honest. Like, some of them are really nice, but they're not as pigmented, in my opinion. I don't know. Like, is it just me? Probably it is, but it's just my opinion. I think Anastasia shadows are so, so, so good. Like, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, so worth the money. My favourite colours are Fudge and Morocco obviously and I love Pink Champagne, Noir is amazing, like the best black I've ever tried and I love, um, what is it? Bellini, Bellini and Spoilt which are the two gold shades there and Soft Peach is really good to like set your whole eye but I, I absolutely love Anastasia and I've actually ordered another palette so I'm excited for that to come and play with it. I'm so excited, oh my god. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil in, I think I'm in Dark Chocolate. <sighs> Super, like this is like the dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I need to stock up on my Brow Wiz and my Brow Definer but for the meantime this has been doing so well like i've used it on my brows today and it just makes my eyebrows look so good like really nice and defined but still on the natural side like not too drawn i mean obviously these are not natural eyebrows but it like it really makes them look really nice like so yeah it just really makes it look nice and i don't know i just really love it i love the color i love the consistency i really love how it stays on my brows and i love the fact that it's super affordable so if you don't want to splurge on anastasia ones definitely try this one and i always like to include like shows or films in my <laughs> favorites videos because i absolutely love that it's like one of my favorite things to do probably 
for a lot of people but I just love watching films and series. One of them that I started is American Horror Story. My brother was watching it and he was like you need to watch it and I've heard a lot of people talk about it and I was like nah I don't want to watch it. But it's actually so addictive and it's so good. I'm already in the like the freak show so I think that was se season four. My, I loved like I loved the first season, I loved the second season, I loved the third season. I'm not too fond of the fourth, the freak show bit. I don't really like it that much, but my most favourite one I would say is the witch season. So that was season three. It's so good. So definitely recommend that. In terms of films, I definitely recommend Don't Breathe. I watched that in the cinema and I was literally at the edge of my seat and I was like, like this the whole time so it's such a good film like I definitely recommend that film anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you've been loving this month I like to know what you guys have been wear wearing or using a lot um lately please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're new I make videos very <laughs> regularly I would say. I'll probably have two videos a week now because I have a lot of catching up with uni to do so. I love you guys so so much. Thank you for all the love and support that you always give me and the sweet comments that you write. It really warms my heart up and I just love talking to you guys and I always try to reply to all of you and talk to all of you and I just love you guys like this whole um, experience and being able to interact with you guys makes me so happy and it really makes my day so thank you so much for that um, and uh, yeah until next time I will see you then bye